everybody, welcome to Amanda Land, vlog number 21. I'm going to show you guys my Madonna fan club icon magazine collection. Now I don't have every single one, I'm missing the first two, but I thought I'd, you know, show you guys the complete collection, minus the first two. Alright, so let's get to it. And starting off here, we can see Molly has no respect for my Madonna fan club magazines. That's the binder I did keep them in. But I laid out most of them to show them off. These first two I got off of eBay because I was not part of the fan club yet. But yeah, I had to, I could afford those. The first two are rather expensive last time I checked. Well, expensive for like, I don't want to pay that much for them. But maybe one day. I have most of them laid out, so I'm just going to scan over them. And a whole stack. Okay, so a little quick backstory to the fan club. I believe it was set up in 1990 by um, two people I cannot remember their names. It's Marcia Del Vicio and somebody else. Anyway, they created the Madonna fan club and started uh, publishing the Icon magazine. This is volume one, issue three, and it's a really nice magazine. I'll just flip through some of the pages. The images in there, relatively good. Back here, back in the day, um, there was no internet. So we would, or fan club members would post uh, messages looking for a pen pal. And they also had like the mega fan profiles and all that good stuff. So this is the second one I bought off eBay. Um, so this is issue four from 1991. This is the very first official one that I got when I finally joined the fan club. I found the uh, ad in the back of Rolling Stone to join the fan club and I begged and begged and begged my mom because I think I was in junior high to you know sign me up and she did. So this is my first official one. Obviously this picture is taken from the Truth or Dare premiere. So I'm, I guess I'll show you each one. You guys can see I love this picture and they progressively got better the magazines got progressively better in each one uh, let's see I'll pull out this one in each magazine her publicist would squash any rumors you know give us some news and Madonna always provided a personalized letter to the fan club I don't know if I mentioned these were published quarterly, so you got four a year, and this is volume two, issue four, 1992. We all know this movie, one of my favorites. Then the Erotica era. This one's a good one. More from Erotica. And then they would also feature fan art. So that's kind of cool. Here we go, bad girl. Fever. Then when she went on the girly show, we got a special double issue, meaning it was extra thick. So it was a little bigger. Here's the inside of it. Let's see, some cool images, stories, and a personalized letter from Madonna. I thought it was always neat. It was in her handwriting. And since she was still on tour, they released another special issue. And then for a while they were doing cartoons on the back of the magazines as well. And I'll remember more fan cartoons. This one. This is one of my favorite covers, Bedtime Stories, and still more cartoons. And that one. And that one. I love this video. It was a good video. And this magazine's kind of cool because on the back, fan art of the back. 
you'll see. And a Vita. And then some really cool fan art. That one. Now, I don't know if you guys saw my previous vlog talking about the one picture I have from Evita that I have the original photo from a fan who was at the premiere, took the picture, sent me original copy of it. Original, yeah, it's original copy. And then she submitted it to the fan club and then the fan club used it on the magazine. So there it is, up there on my wall. Pretty cool, huh? I thought so. And then another one. I'm removing, they stopped putting the ears on it, and I'm not great with ears, but here's that one. Actually, I do remember some years, like 1998 Ray of Light came out, so there's this one. Another Ray of Light era. Power of Goodbye. Nothing really matters. Now this one I traded on eBay, or traded somewhere, I don't remember, but this one is signed by Madonna. I like to think that it is actually physically signed from her. Um, if you tilt it sideways, you can kind of see that it's indented, but that one's cool. This is from her Max Factor campaign. And that one. Changed up the logo, as you can tell, through the years. American Pie. Now I thought about flipping through the pages of each one, but that's kind of awkward to do on camera. I don't have the setup for that, so. If you want to see the inside of some of these magazines, uh, let me know in the comments down below, and I will. There's this one. There's more. Music. Fan art. Oh, gotta show you the back. One. I like Swept Away. Do you guys like Swept Away? I I thought that movie was funny. It made me laugh. Her acting was he was in Evita standards, but it was it was good. It wasn't horrible. It's this one. This one is one of my favorites because I absolutely love the Revenge and Tour. And for that, I will show you the inside of that one. So here's in. I mean, it's really cool. It's so sad that they don't do this anymore. Like, I think they went digital. I don't even honestly know if they do the fan club online anymore. Like, I'm a Lifetime Legacy something or other member, and don't know what that really gets me except pre-sale tickets, where I still have to pay for them. That is when I met her. I went to the Mr. Peabody's book signing in LA at Borders Bookstore and got to meet her. So that was the highlight of my life was to meet Madonna. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> it was so amazing. And they changed the mega fan profile to fan profusion. Leah. Hi Leah. We have this one. I love that outfit. I think they're so, so pretty. And yet another amazing shot from the Reinvention Tour. So iconic. And this is from her first Sachi campaign. This is... Oh, it doesn't have a number on it. It's this one. This is a vintage shot of her. And lastly, this is the last Icon magazine that was uh, sent out 
then they went all digital. I think they did a couple Icon magazines online where you can print them. And, but it, it wasn't the same. I never printed them. I thought about it to get it like professionally done, but like whatever. But this one, again, was the last one. So since this was the last one, we'll just briefly look at this one. This is one of my favorite albums, Confessions on a Dance Floor. I love that she had red hair, because, you know, I have red hair. All the goodies you could get. That performance at the Grammys was amazing. Loved it. She had a bunch of great performances that year. And all the covers. You know, I pretty much, I have a lot of these magazine covers. And if you saw my previous videos, I do have a shower curtain with that image. different formats. I do have that. The pink vinyl. Words of formats. So anybody out there watching this video, are you guys iconers? Are you have you been an icon member? Um, leave a comment down below, say hi, and tell me if you're still part of the fan club or if it's even worth it. I mean like I said, I'm a lifetime legacy, lifetime something or other. I honestly don't even know. Um, I don't see what the perks are. And if you do know, then hey, let me know. All right, more shots of inside. Yeah, I'm going over this one because it is the last physical copy. This is another one of my favorite shots. I need to watch that documentary again. I'm going to tell you a secret. Pretty good. That's about her album. That is it. So yeah, about 2006, obviously, when this album came out was around the time that no more copies of Icon. Again, I am interested in getting the first two, so if you don't want your copy of the first two Icon magazines, I believe it was called Like a Fanzine, or yeah, maybe it was, I don't remember. If you want to send them to me, go ahead. I don't mind. I won't turn them away, but yeah. I thought it'd be kind of interesting to show you guys all the Icon magazines that I have. These are my prized possessions. I will never get rid of these. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, comment down below. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will try to get out more videos. And 